somebody who's, you know, they've inherited the house or whatever. You go in there and they say, well, I've got six more appointments today. You're like, yeah. oh, great. bike rides in the morning i see i'm seeing a couple more signs pop up i see a on zillow i follow along neighborhoods i see a little more price reductions that didn't that hasn't happened for a couple of years now yeah unless yeah. people that were crazy ridiculous but most people sure. i wasn't seeing price reductions and now i'm seeing and i'm thinking to myself okay so i'm licking my chops as a real estate investor saying this is i remember this like when amber and i first got started i don't know what the rates were back you probably don't remember. I'd love to know. We got because start- I wasn't paying attention to rates. I didn't care. Yeah, we can but we can go back and probably Oceana find a chart to see what they were. Yeah, they they, they, they were they were probably right around where we are now. Probably right yeah. around six percent. That's where they were in you know oh six oh seven. You know, and they they dipped down a little bit. You know, in oh eight when the collapse really happened. But yeah, they were they were right around this uh, this mark. You know, in the high fours, low fives, pretty consistently. Yeah, I just I get when. People, people call me now and they get freaked out. Like they're like, "Oh my God! Like what's what's happening? Are they crashing?" I'm like, "Wait, wait! The mortgage market's crashing. That doesn't mean yeah. that we're crashing. It means that we. I think that we're going to be in for a time to buy more. Yeah. Like you said, it's so much nicer to have a one-on-one conversation instead of having a five-on-one conversation. You know, you go in, you, you meet, you meet somebody who's you know they've inherited the house or whatever. You go in there and they say, "Well, I've got six more appointments today." You're like, yeah. "Oh, great." Yeah. And when it, when it's that way, when it's the frenzy, you know, a buyer is reluctant to take an offer because they know six more are coming behind it. Yeah. You know, back in the day when it wasn't that good, yeah, you put in a low ball offer and they would take it You'd be like, Ooh, that's, that's great. That doesn't happen that much anymore. So, you know, granted, I'm a little nervous of the interest rates. I, I can't hide from that. You know, I'm in the mortgage business. So as the rates go up, it's a, it's a cause for, well, you, concern. you probably get paid on that. You probably get paid Correct. on that. I do. Right? I do. Yeah. I'm in the real corporate world of, of mortgage interest rates. So yeah, it affects my paycheck or from an investor standpoint, it's something you have to be aware of. You have to be aware of the trends and interest rates, but I don't think it should impact uh, your ability to, 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 or your desire to not buy. Mm-hmm.